And just to remind you of the list here. Number one, success breeds inertia. Number two, people need to know why. What is your ambition? What are we trying to achieve? You need fear as well as hope, creating a sense of urgency, managing the balance uh, between the positive uh, kind of uh, uh, hope for the future and this survival anxiety. Change before you have to. As much as you can, get back across the curve to really anticipate change. People and processes are equally important. <coughs> yeah? We all have a preference for more the technical or the social system. You have to pay attention to both if you're going to be effective agent of change. You will under-communicate. Uh, whatever you do, however much you do it, in terms of what you say, telling the stories, listening and persisting, and in terms uh, of the behaviours that, that you role model that you want from others. <coughs> and finally, organisations are not china shops. Take the risk. Trust your judgments. Do what you believe to be right, because in the long run, it's less risky than feeling paralysed uh, that you're in that china shop. So, these are some of the fundamental principles uh, that I want to share with you about managing change. Uh, and uh, I hope that these are ones that uh, sound familiar, and I hope that even some of these uh, points uh, you may remember uh, in years to come.